Welcome back to Retro Game Geek. I can't let this game have the best of me. Gotta take another shot at it. So, let's hold down jump, push game, start on world three, one. So I might talk a little less this time. Because I think that's where I lost my concentration and started dying. Like I said, it's surprisingly difficult. The first two worlds are pretty simple. You hear that traffic in the background? Yeah, I'm really impressed with what Nintendo did to this game. Such limited memory and graphics, but yet they put together a really fun game. Almost filling that hole there. 24 distance, a lot better than the last game, that's for sure. Can't get me lack of two. It's not hammer time. Haha, uh, found shelter. What was a mushroom? Extra life, sweet, and 10 points. Again, sorry about the lighting, but. Recording out here is kind of rough. Yeah, much better than the last game, that's for sure. It takes a while just to get used to playing like this, because I'm actually looking through my iPad screen while I play, which is not the ideal way to play, obviously. It's a bit like having something like a VR headset on. Yes, the end of the level. It always amazed me those um, scenes in Ready Player One where he's playing video games. Well, not scenes, one in the book. Let's get the princess. Boom! Like, how can you play games, like old games in VR? But I guess looking for a screen here isn't too much different. I have to say, it's really nice playing one of these games on the original hardware play the RG350 all the time, but there was something really special about the original hardware for these games. And it's amazing how light uh, these things are. Should have jumped back. It's not easy. I played this so much as a... I guess I was a teenager then. I was thinking a kid, but I think I was a teenager when I got this. So this particular unit I actually got later because I asked my I asked my mom I said hey do you still have that Mario Brothers Game and Watch I used to have and they're like what's that I like, explained it and they're like oh you said I could g we could give it to um, a sick kid at the hospital and I was like oh okay first I was a bit upset about not having it and then I realized you know what that sick kid. I'm happy he had a game to play, especially a good one like this one. And um, and I realized I could just, you know, I could buy another one. It's not a big deal. So I looked on eBay, and I think I paid about 65 euros for this, which was in excellent condition. And it's still really good condition, actually. Let's see. I won't, can't show it to you now. Not very well. <laughs> but... Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Oh, this is not good. Not good. Just have to sort of get into the rhythm of the game. Alright. Oh, it's not good. One more, yes. Boom beat this thing. So this is the underworld. Whoops. Princess down there. Princess is in another floor? Okay. Sure. So 
at those flames. That was dumb. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there we go. It's kind of surprising how loud this is actually. And I think in this underwater level there is no lacquer tube with the hammers. We will find out, won't we? The bullets can be annoying enough. Let's get the extra challenge of trying to keep the light off of Mario. Can't blind Mario after all. I'm still amazed at how they can have level design in a product like this. Oh man, now I wish I knew what year it was made. I'll put the year in the um, description. Must be... Let's see, it's Mario... Late 80s, I'm guessing? Uh oh, this doesn't look good. Haha. Can't give me bullet bill. Almost the end. Six just cents. Five, four, three. That's uh, not. Uh, two, zero. With a pipe. Not a beautiful pipe. I love that pipe. So cool. Let me go back to the regular controls. It's just such a beautiful adaptation. Safe havens on the other levels, that's for sure. Rather evil, actually. <laughs> oh no. <Ooh. gasps> <laughs> Dodge the hammer and fall in the pit. Perfect. Ah. That was fun. Hopefully, next time I'll be able to beat it for you guys. Alright. Have a good one. And subscribe if you want more from Retro Game Geek.